Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 14th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the if else statement and the if else statement is different from the if statement in the sense that it gets you an else block in your code which executes when the condition evaluated by if is false. So in the last tutorial we made a script and we had an if block in it and you know that block got executed only when the condition that was evaluated by if was true, right? And if that condition evaluated to false, then, you know, the program didn't do anything with the if block. Instead, you know, another statement was executed, which was outside the if block. But, you know, the else statement helps you get over that by letting you have an else block, which works when the if statement, you know, runs into a false uh, evaluation, right? So I'll press control N, you know, uh, make another script. And again, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. I'll have a variable and I'll call it my var. I'll give it the value 50 initially. And then we're going to have, uh, you know, the if statement, check whether the variable value is less than 100. And I'll put in a colon, get inside the if block, you know, type in the print function and display a message using it. So you are short of, I could have actually used the script file that I made in the last tutorial, but then it's okay. You're short of being 100%, right? And uh, when I press the enter key, I still stay in the if block. To exit it, I'll have to press the backspace key. And now I'll type in the else keyword, right? And put in a colon and get inside the else block now. So I can have a print function here too. And uh, you know this function will execute if this condition evaluates to false, right? So the value of my var is greater than 100, then this statement won't be executed, whereas the print function within the else block will be executed, right? And I can display a message uh, here, something like um, you are at your best. So if you're not short of being 100%, then it means that you are at your best. And uh, then when I press the enter key, I still remain in the else block. If I want to exit the else block, I'll have to press the backspace key again. And now I'm outside the else block. And again, I'll you know just get in a print function here to display a closing message, a goodbye, right? I'll save the file as, uh, I'll save it on my desktop. I'll give it the name else. And uh, I'll press F5 to run the program. And there you go, I see the message, you are short of being 100% and then I see the message goodbye. So whereas in the last tutorial, when we changed the value of our variable to 150, we saw that the statement inside the if block, the print function was not executed and we just got the message goodbye. Here, if you would change the value of uh, the variable to 150, save the file and rerun the program, we'll see the else block working and then of course we'll see the message goodbye, right? So we see the, uh, you know, the print function that was there in the else block, you know, it displays us the message you are at your best and then we see the final message goodbye. So this is how the if else statement is different from the if statement. It gives you a little more, you know, flexibility. And in the next tutorial, we are going to check out the elif uh, statement in Python. And uh, I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.